Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 30th, 2020. So today we have Surrender to the Divine Full Moon. Here's the thing, a lot has been revealed, a lot has been exposed and you had better watch out because as I say that, if your thoughts immediately go to, yeah, those people who are in high positions, they're getting exposed, so are you. So are you. Everything gets illuminated right? One of the biggest things that we need to work through is thinking that we're perfect and everybody else is the problem. (laughs) So even if the people around you are reflecting what maybe you need to work on, yes, take a look at that. And uh, I know this is going to fall on deaf ears, but you know, we certainly have enablers around us usually. And those are the people that we hang on to and say, see, they like me. There's somebody out there who, um, is doing very not nice things to people on a pretty big scale. And this person has people telling them how great they are, so they believe it. They believe that they don't need to change, right? But even as I observe that, there are things within me that I'm like, I need to work on that because I let this person into my world, (laughs) right? Um, I have to take accountability for my expectations, you know, again, when you expect people to take advantage of you, they do, don't they? Yeah, you got to clear that heart space and go, you know what? Let's just get to a nice equilibrium again, <laughs> right? So Surrender to the Divine does really talk about examining, you know, the parts of you, what you're observing outside of you, how does that affect you, what really brings you joy and happiness. We've been talking about this for, what, several days now. What is an energy drain? We're going to be talking about that forever because I think that's a long-term lesson for most of us. But when things start to feel really lost, like lost causes, you're about to give up on people. You don't know what else to do. You don't know where to turn in your life. Of course, if you are getting into a deep place there, get some help. Okay, this is not a replacement for therapy. But um, spiritually speaking, you can turn this over to God. You can turn this over to the divine. I found myself doing that quite a bit. And saying, okay, just, you know, show me. What do you want me to do next? What is, what is the thing? <laughs> what is it that I'm supposed to be aware of right now? Okay. So again, let that be an emotional release where you're surrendering to the divine. Not as a divine victim. We need to watch that. I cannot tell you how often I observe the victimhood mentality. I'm telling you, it's a problem. Okay. Where can you take accountability, excuse me, accountability for your own life and start to change it, all right? And working with the divine, with whatever information comes to you when you give over to the divine, working through it in a physical way, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.